Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cookley Bushcraft channel. Okay, so I've been shopping. I've got a knife to show you. A very, a very fancy one. This is the Tapio Workala Poco. Okay, so Tapio Workala was a very famous Finnish artist and designer. So he was well known both in Finland and internationally in the in the post-war period. So he designed glassware, stoneware, furniture for for mass production, also individual art pieces, individual sculptures, and also he designed things like banknotes, stamps. Uh, so quite a well-known guy. Uh, so there were a few different models of this knife that came out. This is the most common one. Uh, this is made by Hackman of Helsinki, and this was manufactured from uh, uh, from 1961 to 79. Uh, they were also made by Fiskers. Uh, Lapin Porco did a version from 1977 to 78, and yeah, these nowadays you can get second hand for two three hundred euros or us dollars or pounds i think as if you're <laughs> estimating there's not that much difference but yeah so something like this in good condition is normally two to three hundred us dollars uh this was considerably cheaper it has got quite a bit of wear and tear you look on the pommel i don't know if you can see that but somebody's been hitting it with a hammer a bit of wear and tear on the blade a few tiny tiny little chips on the handle you know it's minimal damage it's it's been used it's an old knife that's been used uh, and also it had no sheath so the sheath i bought a reproduction of the original from barisa which is a Finnish company that sells knife making supplies. Uh, I'll put a link uh, to that company in the description, just in case anybody's looking for one of these sheaths, or as if anyone's interested in making a knife, I think that Brisa is the number one website, at least in Europe, for buying knife making supplies. English handmade knives is also good, but yeah, Brisa is, and they have their own knives as well, which are all top notch. Right, so, yeah, you've got the little, little bear claw on the, uh, on the sheath. Very, very attractive sheath. Uh, yeah, plastic liner, typical Scandinavian sheath stitched up the back with a plastic insert. So, the special thing about this is the lines on it and the shape. So it's a stainless steel blade. The blade's got a reputation for being quite chippy. Uh, I have got a little bit of a chip missing out of out of the tip there. Very, very minor. And the edge needs a little bit of work. I've not touched this yet. And uh, you've got that fancy shape on the handle. Which some people say is a little bit uncomfortable, but... Uh, to me, it seems absolutely fine. It seems quite comfortable in multiple grips. So let's take a closer look at this bugger. The handle is nylon because, of course, in the 1960s, plastic was considered stylish. But in combination with the uh, brass end cap and the brass bolster, I, uh, I think that the plastic still looks very nice. So, very unusual shape, but like I said, it's not, I don't find that uncomfortable to the hand. You've got a very typical uh, grind for a finished knife. So, it's kind of like between a, a Scandi grind and a Sabre grind. So, it comes really, really high, quite a thick blade. And... Uh, And yeah, you'll usually find a, uh, a micro bevel or a secondary bevel of some kind on, on these old Finnish knives. Uh, which this one, I think, has. Uh, but it's obviously been sharpened quite a lot of times by by the previous owner. And uh, 
it's not it's not the grind that it came with and you can maybe see a bit better now there is a bit of damage on the end cap but a bit of damage for a, a knife that's could well be older than me and has been in use is uh, very normal the sheath is brand new and uh, yeah, very nicely made and fits the knife perfectly other models of this knife and models and copies a lot of you will be familiar with the Finn Bear made by Cold Steel which uh, which replaced the Sisu which was a much higher end version uh, than the Finn Bear which came out in I think 2007 but uh, yeah the, the Sisu uh, Sisu meaning fortitude in Finnish obviously Cold Steel aren't Finnish uh, looks very very similar to that the Finn Bear the Finn Bear maybe less so uh, Helle also made a version of this knife, or at least a design influenced by this knife, which I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think it was the number 30. But that came out in, I've got it written down here somewhere. <laughs> okay. That came out in 1965 to 1975, and was reissued in 2007. Uh, this knife was also made exactly the same by Parker Cutlery uh, in the USA in the 1980s. Uh, when I say exactly the same, it's not exactly the same because it's got a little fishing scene engraved on the blade. So this is the Hackman version. Fisk has also made one, as did Lapping Porco, as I believe I've already said. Uh, but yeah, this is by far the most common. And uh, the later models are less popular, uh, but they're, they're still around. And you can find these quite a lot all over the world, I believe. Uh, or at least they're, they're, they were sold internationally. So they're not just available in Finland, but they do tend to be very, very expensive. It's a, a very sought-after knife, and I was quite lucky to get this one so cheap. Right, well, that's about all I've got for you today. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon for another Googly Bushcraft video. Bye for now.